Yes, uh, my name is Victor Vieira, and I will be your host for yet another edition of Continental Drift, um, WRK's excursion to music from uh, around the world, focusing primarily on traditional music from around the world. We've been, uh, of course, as a result, on a world tour uh, over the last many years, <laughs> uh, but certainly recently focusing on Europe uh, over the last number of weeks. Um, we featured music from Bulgaria, uh, music from Germany, uh, etc. cetera, uh, in the recent past. Um, this evening, we're going to move to music of Iran, and uh, we'll sample music and talk about the country itself, um, describe uh, a little bit about its, um, its geography, some of its demographic uh, sort of uh, factors, um, et cetera. Uh, but as always, we'll focus most, mostly on the music. Uh, this evening, we'll begin with a selection from the LP entitled Classical Music of Iran, Dasga Systems, uh, compiled and edited by Ella Zonis, um, put up by Folkways Records, uh, I believe in uh, possibly the 60s, yes, 1966. Um, we'll talk about more about Dastka systems, what they mean, uh, what they represent. Uh, but let's listen to a piece. Um, this one is entitled... Dastka Offshore. Once again, you're currently tuned to WREK Atlanta 91.1 FM. This is Continental Drift. Hope you enjoy. Cherie Oh. 
Chiguya.
All right. Uh, you're currently tuned to WRK Atlanta, 91.1 FM. This is Continental Drift. And uh, we've been exploring music from Iran uh, over the last uh, number of minutes, about 26 minutes or so. Uh, from the CD, actually from the LP, entitled uh, Daska Systems, Classical Music of Iran, compiled and edited by Ella Zonis, with technical assistance of Mr. Ruhala Kaleki. Uh, we heard Daska of Mahur, Avez of Afhan, Avaz of Afshari, Daska of Shur, and uh, I believe that was it. We're going to continue uh, sampling uh, classical music of Iran momentarily, but let me take this uh, opportunity to uh, mention a few things about the, the country of Iran. Uh, once again, this uh, information will come from the Wikipedia, or Free Online Encyclopedia. Um, Perhaps not the ultimate arbiter of truth out there, but um, a open source alternative. Um, okay, Iran, uh, whose motto is independence, freedom, um, and freedom, apparently, uh, has a capital called Tehran. Uh, its largest city is also Tehran. Its official language is Persian, uh, with an area of about 1.6 million square kilometers, ranks uh, 17th in the world. Uh, it's got a population of about uh, 68 million people, ranking 18th in the world uh, in terms of um, in terms of population. Uh, until, well, let's see, Iran, uh, also called Persia, is a Middle Eastern country located in Southwest Asia. It borders Armenia, Azerbaijan, um, and Turkmenistan to the north, Pakistan and Afghanistan to the east, and Turkey and Iraq to the west. In addition, it shares the Persian Gulf waters with Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates. The official name of the country is Islamic Republic of Iran, and uh, Shias Islam is the official state religion. Until 1935, the country was ref uh, referred to in the West as Persia, although Iranians have always referred to their country as Iran. Um, Let's see, sometime around 1500 to 1000 BC, the Iranian nomads of Indo-European stock emigrated to the Iranian plateau, possibly from Central Asia. In uh, 8th century BC, the first Iranian government was established under the Median dynasty, and under the following dynasty, the Achaemenids, Iranians built the first world empire. Uh, their empire emerged in the 8th century BC under Cyrus the Great, the founder of the Persian Empire, who called himself King of Iran and beyond. Indeed, the name Persia is derived from Persis, the ancient Greek name for the empire. Um, certainly, its history continues. Uh, in 1980, um, Iran was attacked by neighboring Iraq, apparently, and uh, the destructive uh, Iran-Iraq war continued uh, until 1988. Um, it is a constitutional Islamic republic, uh, whose political system is laid out in the 1979 constitution called Kanun e Asasi. Um, Iran's makeup has several intricately connected governing bodies, some of which are democratically elected, and some of which operate by co opting people based on the religious inclinations, <laughs> according to this Wikipedia entry here. Now, let's make sure that I reference that. Um, let's talk about its geography. Uh, Iran's highest mountain, Mount Damavand, uh, stands at about uh, 5,600 meters, and it looks like a beautiful, beautiful thing here based on this picture. Um, Iran borders Azerbaijan, as we've uh, talked about in Armenia. Uh, its landscape is, uh, well, in addition to other countries like uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Turkey, uh, and the Persian Gulf. Uh, its landscape is uh, dominated by rugged mountain ranges that separate various, various basins or plateaus from one another. It's approximately the landmass of Alaska. Uh, the populous w western part is the most mountainous, with ranges such as the Zagros and Alboros Mountains, the latter of which is also, um, well, also contains Iran's highest point, the Damavand, as we just talked about, about 18,000 feet, uh, which is quite, quite tall, actually. Uh, the eastern half consists mostly of uninhabited desert basins like the Saline uh, or saline dash at Kavir with the occasional salt lake. Uh, the only large plains are found along the coast of the Caspian Sea and at the northern end of the Persian Gulf, where Iran borders on the 
uh, mouth of the Arvant River, also called Shat al Arab. Um, the Iranian climate is mostly arid or semi arid, although uh, subtropical uh, climates can be found along the Caspian coast. Uh, Iran is considered by many to be uh, one of the 15 states that comprise the so-called cradle of humanity. Um, well, we'll talk about its um, demographics, uh, some ethnic groups, uh, its religion, uh, religious groups, and its culture, primarily its um, uh, musical tradition uh, momentarily. Let's go back to uh, classical music of Iran, Dastga systems, uh, from put up by Folkways Records in 1966 for more um, exposure to Iran's traditional music. You are currently tuned to WRK Atlanta, 91.1 FM. This is Continental Drift, and uh, we're sampling music from Iran this evening. I hope you enjoy.
right. Uh, you're currently tuned to WRK Atlanta, 91.1 FM. Uh, this is Continental Drift, and we've been exploring music from Iran this evening, uh, continuing our world tour. Uh, it's kind of an ongoing project uh, here over a number of years. But um, yes, we've been listening to music from Iran this evening, as I mentioned, uh, most recently from the um, LP entitled Classical Music of Iran, Daska Systems, uh, compiled and edited by Ella Zonis and put out by Folkways Records in 1966. Uh, in the background, you're now listening to a piece from Kayan Kalor's Scattering Stars Like Dust, put out by Traditional Crossroads Records. Um, this being the introduction piece. Let me uh, tell you a little bit about uh, Daska from the Wikipedia. Uh, the tradition of Persian art music embodies 12 modal systems known as, known as Dastgas, uh, each daska represents a complex of skeletal melodic models on the basis of which a performer produces extemporized pieces. Uh, the daskas revolve around unspecified central nuclear melodies, which the individual musician comes to know through experience and absorption. And I think that was sort of evident um, for the last hour here. Um, yes, so that about concludes another edition of Control Drift. Um, uh, stay tuned every Monday evening from 11 to midnight or uh, check us out on demand online at wrek.org or you can visit us at continentaldrift.etherland.com for archived shows. Uh, we'll continue our um, world tour, probably visiting uh, another country in, in uh, the Middle East and Asia next week. Uh, sort of yet to be determined. Um, but I hope uh, you've enjoy enjoyed uh, tonight's selection. Uh, in the meantime... Enjoy uh, the last few minutes here of uh, Kayan Kalor and Scattering Stars Like Dust. <laughs> 